Hello everyone. I hope that you have seen my lectures on the structure, chemistry and phase changes of olivine group of minerals. Today we will discuss about some more aspect of the olivine group of minerals. So let's discuss about the properties, occurrences, alteration and uses of olivine group of minerals. The references that I have cited in this lecture is also shown in the figure. So when you talk about properties, we broadly differentiate the properties into physical properties and optical properties. So when you talk about the physical properties, olivines crystallographically belongs to the orthorhombic system and it is having typical occurrence of anhedral to equine grains in plutonic igneous rocks and metamorphosed carbonate bearing rocks. Euhydral crystals are also common in volcanic rocks which are slightly elongated parallel to the C axis. When you think about the cleavage of the olivine group of minerals, it generally shows poor cleavage with 010 plane and 110 plane. And the fracture is generally concoidal in nature. Mineral is brittle. When you think about the luster, it is one of the distinguishing character of the olivine group of mineral. It is vitreous in nature. And the color of olivines, it shows olivine to yellowish green with darker shades with increasing content of iron. And the mineral also shows a white streak when it is scratched against a porcelain plate. So these are the some of the physical properties shown by the olivine group of minerals. Optical characteristics. Olivines are generally colorless under thin section. However, the iron rich varieties may be showing some yellowish color. And it is showing pleochroism for colored varieties from pale yellow to orange yellow. Another important characteristic of olivine group of mineral is that it shows high positive relief. The crystals which are elongated parallel to the C axis shows parallel extinction. Indices of refraction and birefringence is also characteristic of the olivine group of mineral. And the angle between the optic axis that is 2V angle varies systematically with the iron content. So under the thin section it is identified by high birefringence, distinctive fracturing, lack of cleavage or rather poor cleavage and alteration products. So when you think about the distinguishing character of the olivine, olivines are as we discussed green in color, it shows vitreous luster, conchoidal fracture and granular nature. Olivines may be often confused with epidote which usually has a richer green or pistachio green color and also having cleavage. Greenish colored quartz also may appear similar but quartz occurs in distinctly different kind of rocks. Another important aspect is its alteration to serpentine. So minerals like chrysotile or antigorite is originated from the alteration of olivines. These are also very common. So when you think about pyroxenes, they show lower biofringence, distinct cleavage, simple or lamellar twinning and for the mono monoclinic varieties of the pyroxenes, it shows inclined extension in maximum biofringent sections. Again, the epidote has a cleavage when you distinguish from epidote and uh, olivines. Epidote shows inclined extension and it is optically negative. And that may also display a patchy pistachio green color when we look into the epidote under thin section. Here you can see green olivine crystal in basalts that is found in San Carlos, Arizona. This is also another olivine rock showing the typical olive green color. So all this while we were discussing about the general characteristic of olivine group of minerals. Now let's go to the specific characteristic of each mineral. Though there are many characteristics, they are common in nature based on its distinguishing properties. So we may also discuss some of, some of the individual characteristic of certain mineral. So let's discuss about the mineral forstrite. 
Phosphate is having a composition of Mg2 SiO4 as we have already learned. In hand specimen identification, phosphate may be identified by its orbitreous luster, conchoidal fracture and the usual olive green color. Association and alteration of phosphate to serpentine is often helpful in its identification. Olivines are also sometimes confused with epidot or pyroxene as we have discussed some time back. The phosphate belongs to the orthorhombic system. When you think about the physical characteristic of phosphate mineral, generally it shows a hardness of 6.5 to 7 and having a specific gravity of 3.2. When you talk about the physical properties of phosphate, it is characterized by a hardness of 6.5 to 7 and it is having a specific gravity of 3.2 and also have the poor cleavage and the streak shows of white powder. Its luster is already that we have discussed, it is having vitreous luster. When you talk about the optical properties of olivine, the phosphate that is the magnesium rich olivines are colorless in thin section. It is showing high refractive index and biofringence. It is also characterized by poor cleavage and irregular fracture and appearance of equant grains. Phosphate is often altered to serpentine, so which is also helpful in its identification. And the phosphate minerals are by actually positive. When you think about the occurrences and association of phosphate minerals, the phosphates are a primary mineral in many mafic and ultramafic rocks and is typically associated with pyroxenes, plagioclase, spinel, garnet and serpentine. These are the associated minerals that is found along with phosphate. It is common as both an igneous and a metamorphic mineral in marbles and more rarely it is found in sediments. The typical variety of phosphate is peridot which is a green transparent gem variety of phosphate. Another N member of olivine is phyllite. The chemical composition of it is Fe2SiO4 which is an iron rich olivine having various shades of brown or yellow in color. The physical properties of phyllite includes its hardness of 6.5, specific gravity of 4.4 and which is expressing a poor cleavage and having conchoidal fracture. The luster of phyllite is vitreous in nature and are optically transparent to translucent. It is characterized by, as I have mentioned earlier, various shades of brown or yellow and sometimes green in color. The streak of the phyllite is white in color. When you talk about the optical properties of phyllite, the iron rich olivines are pale yellow or green in thin section under the microscope and sometimes it may be weakly pleochroic. The index of refraction and biofringence are high for phyllite. As we have mentioned in physical properties, under the microscope also it is shown poor cleavage and often characterized by equine grains and are altered to serpentine or chloride which is helpful in its identification. Phyllite is optically biaxial negative and this is a less common mineral compared to the magnesium rich olivine that is phosphate and these are found in iron rich granitic igneous or metamorphic rocks. So far we have discussed the two most common olivines they are phosphate and phyllite. Now let us discuss the other rare occurring olivine named as Montisellite, the chemical composition of which is calcium magnesium SiO4. It may be identified by its association, color, conchoidal fracture and its habit. When you think about the physical properties of olivine, it includes hardness of 5.5 and a specific gravity of 
3.15 it is also shows poor cleavage colorless to green or gray color and vitreous luster and optically transparent to translucent when it's shown to light and white streak so these are the physical properties that is helpful in the identification of the hand specimen of monticellite when you think about the optical properties monticellite is similar to other olivines but it is characterized by greater 2v angle that is the angle between two optic axes monticellite is optically biaxial negative if you see the habits of monticellite crystals tends to be having subsequent combinations of prisms and bipyramids it is usually seen as embedded grains or massive patches in a carbonite rich host rock the structure and composition of monticellite is similar to that of the olivine iron may be substituted for magnesium leading to solid solution with kirstenite having the composition of CaFeSiO4 minor aluminum and manganese may also be present in the monticellite mineral monticellite is found generally in skarns and less commonly in regionally metamorphosed rocks now let's discuss about the alteration of olivine olivines are susceptible to hydrothermal alteration low grade metamorphism and aerobic weathering the alteration products of olivines are varied that includes serpentine group of minerals with or without nano grains of clay iron oxides and chloride group of minerals the minerals formed optically homogeneous with sub microscopic intergrowth were called edingsite bowlingite and chlorophyte edingsite is reddish brown and consists of smectite chlorite and goethite or hematite whereas if you think bowlingite it is green colored and consists of smectite chlorite together with serpentine minerals and minor talc mica and quartz chlorophyte is variable in color it contains chlorite smectite goethite and calcite another important aspect is the most widespread olivine alteration serpentinization it is a common process of metamorphism in olivine rich rocks such as dunite and peridotite as we have mentioned olivines are readily altered to serpentine minerals such as andigorite which is having a composition of mg3 si2o5 oh4 the main alteration products of magnesium rich olivines are the three serpentine polymorphs such as lysardite chrysotile and andigorite together with brucites talc and carbonates chlorides amphiboles etc serpentinization may be expressed by the reactions of if you see the phosphorite and water which gives serpentine and brucite other reactions include the peridotite which are prone to hydrothermal attack and it may be represented by the formula that is phosphorite and water gives together serpentine and magnesium oxide or if you see phosphorite and silica plus water gives serpentine so these are some of the common alteration that is found in olivines as a process called serpentinization magnesite which is magnesium carbonate and iron oxides form at the same time as a result of the alteration in the in the presence of carbon dioxide now let's discuss about the occurrences of olivine the phosphorite phyllite series are common as a primary crystallization products in iron and magnesium rich silica poor magmas olivine is primarily an igneous mineral crystallizing from high temperature magmas olivines occurs predominantly in mafic and ultramafic igneous rocks such as gabbro peridotite and basalt associated with calcium rich plagioclase calcium clinopyroxene and orthopyroxenes dunites and peridotites are rocks having olivines in which dunites having pure olivines 
and whereas in peridotite you have olivine and pyroxene minerals magnesium rich olivines is never found in silicic rocks but the iron rich olivine is occasionally found in some types of granites olivine also occurs in marble and metamorphosed igneous rocks metamorphosed carbonate bearing rocks may contain relatively pure phosphorite in association with calcite dolomite and related calcium magnesium bearing minerals this diagram shows the major minerals and their proportions in silicic to ultramafic igneous rocks the common rocks like granite and basalt are the two most common igneous rock whereas andesite rhyolite these are found slightly less common if you see on the upper panel of the diagram you can see that peridotite and comatiates were Comatiate is the extrusive equivalent of the ultramafic rock, whereas peridotite is the intrusive equivalent of the ultramafic rock. Both these rocks having high occurrences of olivine and some amount of pyroxene. Whereas when you see the gabbro and basalt, it is having amphibole, pyroxene, and a good occurrence of olivine with plagioclase. This table shows the composition of peridotite, pyroxene. and dunite if you see the dunite it is having mainly olivine as its major mineral when you see the pyroxenite olivine occurs as minor minerals in pyroxenite if you see the peridotite olivine is one of the major mineral along with clinopyroxene and orthopyroxene if you look into the example of intermediate and mafic igneous rocks in gabbro and basalt you have olivine as the minor mineral along with orthopyroxene now let's discuss about the uses of olivines the main uses of olivine is for the lapidary purposes olivine is used for cutting as gemstones the ge clear gem variety of olivine is called peridot olivine is also used as a refractory sand to make molds for certain types of casting in foundries and for the manufacturing of high temperature refractory bricks and insulation boards sometimes it is also used as abrasives 